I believe I'd be done inside. Sir. Here we go. This week on Nomad Outdoors, we teach you how to catch groundhogs using only coleslaw and 10 millimeter sockets. Stay tuned. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty excited. How's that excited. for you, bud? You I'm like pretty that excited. Yeah, I'm yeah. excited. So, Hi, I'm Graybeard, your Uber driver. I'm ready to take you to your hunting destination. Oh, awesome. <laughs> uh, make we, sure to tip your Uber. Are we going to get caught in any traffic, you think? I got tipped by the Uber already, a pre-tip. That's freaking oh, awesome. He got a pre-tip. Uh, I've checked the route, and it looks like it is clear sailing <laughs> the whole way. Look, in the camera. Oh, it looks crazy. We're backing out. Yeah. You know what I got to do? Is I got to put a couple of them. Little, remember those little orange? You know what we should do? Like that one? I got to put them in my driveway. Yeah. I almost backed it in my own light pole twice. You know what we should do? Is we should just not even use any of the mirrors. Just start the car up and just floor it. Go backwards. Right, Jerem? Sounds like a good plan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That never occurred to me before, but now that you say it, now it's, that you actually like, it's like you, you, you vocalize, you verbalize it. It like, sounds man, so. This, it's such a clear, a clear. What do they say? Send it! Send it. That's it. And that's how they say it. Send it. Drop it in. No, they say send it. Drop send it in it. here. Send it. Do you think it'll fit? Yeah. Send it. <laughs> it's Monday. Is that the right size wrench? Right? Send it. Monday, and it's raining. And it rained this morning, too, just for the sake of feeling better about not going out in the morning. Yeah, I, I guess we could do a coverall. Every time we don't go out in the morning, it's raining. Yeah. So, yeah, there you go. The deer just don't move in the morning, man. Oh, I mean, they move, but you're going to walk out there in the dark and scare them all away. And then you got to sit for hours on end until they come back. Why not just sneak out there, like, in the daylight time? Right, 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 right. I'm cleaning my apple. If anybody can't uh, see what's going on. That doesn't, here. nope, that right. doesn't look like it to me. That's a lie, Joe. Oh man, I want this apple to be clean. Oh, it's so close to being clean. It's so close. <laughs> We're gonna, you're not gonna put that in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it's right. just silly. It's, it's almost clean. It's almost clean. Ah, oh, it's clean. That is clean. That is. Look at that. Look, look at I shined that thing. Shined it right up. Shine that apple right Let's up. Let's get that. <laughs> I see a truck. There's a truck parked on the side of the road. There's a truck on the left. It's on the left. See a truck on the left. I think that guy came from our street, if I'm not mistaken. Contemplating. Hey, you're yeah. running across the top of For any of our fans that are like uh, are watching our show. Yeah, I know. Like Mike? Uh, not you. Oh, wait a minute. Michael? We're supposed to say. Ron and Ron and somebody from Wisconsin. They sent us a message on our this is YouTube Ron channel. Somebody, Ron. You gotta know the name. Oh, uh, I'll get hold on. It's I'll get right back with you. Okay, we got it. We got it. Hey, we want to say hello to our fans, Ron and Colton, over in Wisconsin. That's all right. That's a bit of a distance from us, He's right over here? the. Uh, Probably snowing here. It's right over the pond, kind of, sort of, isn't it, Wisconsin? Other side of the lake. We share a border with them. I mean, you got to go all the way up in the UP, though. A bunch of those UPers are Packer backers. Yeah. Packer fans. Yeah, cheese heads. That's all right. Cheese heads, right? Is that what they call it? makes you happy, man. It's all right. About that. So, makes you happy. hey, Ron and Colton, they say that they're bigger fans than Captain Craig. I was going to say Captain Crunch. No. That's oh, it. I, I know you were. Mm, what are you doing? Getting your own little silly shenanigans. Where are you going with this? Oh, well, yeah. If that don't get people to no. tune in, I don't even know what would. Yeah. I like it. All right, we're back at our spot. We go back off into the woods. Way back in the woods. Oh, a little bit of uh, wish us luck. Really, really got nothing for today. Got no philosophy. Unless they come from by. 
mean? Hot pile of nothing. Yep, a hot pile of nothing for me too. What Likewise. about you? What? Likewise. Oh, Likewise. Man. I was hoping you had the hot spot tonight. Three frozen hombres tonight. That's about, that's about all I got. I got blocked on my way out by a porcupine. Porcupus. Got in my way. Blocking my trail. I only got a little footpath to go through that <laughs> swamp area. Like, and he's standing right in the middle of it like he owned a place. Why you to be like that, porcupus? I'm like, dude, you got to move. He's like, oh, they're so slow. He's like, just my woods. Yeah, apparently. You're in my house. <laughs> and then he throws his little paws around. Yeah, they do that. Crazy kids. Well, that's the end of the night. Say goodbye. Say goodbye, Nomad fans. Oh, that's it. Yeah, I'll tell you what, though. That stew. Be oh, close. yeah. It's going to be done right in about five minutes. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Skibbity doo. Say bye, Germ. Bye. I went live tonight. I did. I like that. Oh, we're supposed to. How are we supposed to go? Bye. Bye. No, I ain't. <laughs> that, that fucking commercial for telephones? Yeah, but it's oh. cool. Alright, I think it's recording. Why is it recording backwards? Like we have to speak. Yeah, it's like... It's like uh, I, don't, I don't even know how it's recording. Well, we're on a different camera and I think it's recording. Does all this stuff show up on your camera when it's recording? Yeah, it's the recording button at the top. It's a red flashing circle. And I have to push that to record? Oh, no, you hit the record button in the back. I'm using Jer Bear's camera and I'm not used to it. It's a different setup. It's like using somebody else's gun or somebody else's bow. This pavement will get away from me if you're not careful. It's not there. Right. We found a couple of potential spots, but as you can see, the sun's out. That's a good thing. But uh, we're going to have to go home, presto changeo, and head back out to sit and not necessarily stalk. Oh, what do you got to say about that? Nothing. Nothing? What do you got to add? Anything? Nope. How come? Just don't. Add something. There's nothing to add. 383 plus 2. No, what did you find in the woods? Poop. What kind of poop? Deer, bear. Deer, bear. Was it a nice steamy fresh one? I don't know. I didn't see steam, so I would say no. Did you poke it? See how fresh it was? No. Nope. You didn't use nope. those wipes, did he? Because those things clog up the drains. Yeah. You need to tell them, so. Zoom out, zoom front, zoom back. I don't know what to work on that one. I truly believe that archery season has been overcome by the crossbow. I think that there are more people hunting with a crossbow in the state of Michigan than there are compounds, no. way more than a longbow or a recurve, of course. Can say it's just the evolution of time. Kind of saturated that, that crossbows have taken over. Like How many people do you see with a regular bow out in the woods right now? Three. Two. Three. You can't see yourself. Okay. Like, do you see yourself carrying your bow in the woods? Or do you see, see me and Jeremy carrying? Reflection of my shiny car. Ah, oh, that's. Well, then you see two, and then he sees two, so there's six. Oh, no. Okay, you got okay. me. You got me, you're right. Six people. <laughs> you, you are, you got me on that one. So there's six of us. I saw that, you know what I use? My Swedish compass. Uh, <laughs> I can't, I cannot argue with that one. Oh boy, that's some funny ass you stuff right there. I couldn't there. add, didn't you? Aha! Yeah, that was wow. good. That, that's, you can add, you just can't count. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Squash my nugs too for that. My nugs, my Same great nugs, nuggety nugs. Right in the nugs. Oh, there's a growth on the side of that tree. I thought there was like a wombat hanging out. There was a, a pine tree out there. I should have taken a picture of it. It looked like it had a set, set of testicles. I'm like, what is that, Jeremy? That's a lie, Joe. <laughs> See, I should have taken a picture. I'll put it on my website. You do that. You put it on your website. I'll be looking at your website tomorrow. If anybody looked at anybody's website the next day, it's hilarious. We're going to take a really quick moment uh, to give a little shout out to the Minnow Bucket at Exit 222. Oh, yeah. 
St. Helen, Michigan. We stopped off there and they were, oh, it's the minnow bucket. Hey, welcome to the show. Yeah, help me out uh, with a new arm guard after I left mine <laughs> yeah. downstate because that's what you want to do when you're bow hunting is put on your puffy jacket. Nice little place there. You know, you could get, you know, I guess a few things here and there. You know, if oh, you're if you're in need and you're up here and you're hunting and there's something that you may have forgotten, there's a good chance oh, yeah. they could have it there. Don't look for anything extravagant. It's Minos, a small shop, colors. small it's friendly shop. Some arrow, give your dog a bones, all sorts of neat say, stuff. But yeah, it's not just it's not just night crawlers and minnows. Yeah. There's a lot more in there. Than I think you can get so. a cup of coffee in there too if you wanted to. Kind of. You go. Uh, so when you're up here in this area, make sure you shoot on by and tell them, hey, no man outdoors sent us. Yeah, those guys. You know those guys. Those guys. You know those guys. Are. They got a buck pole. Take your buck hanging on a pole. Measure it. Alright, we're on the bouncy road. We're going to talk to you later. My window is locked. His window's locked. He can't breathe. He can't breathe. Can you not breathe, sir? Are you having difficulty breathe. breathing? Do you need a medical emergency? Oh, fresh air. Uh, I don't think we're used to whatever is going on here. It's, it's not a norm here. We just had to check back in to find out is it is it okay to dangle your tea bag out the window? Well, it's a stress reliever tea bag, so. Because we've been having calming tea, myself and the Jerry Bear, before we go out to our stand to to get more in touch. So there was two tea bags hanging out the window. So we we both dangled our tea bags out the window and we wonder if that would be a problem or not. Well, Comment below, let us know what you think. Were you air drying it? Uh, it's natural cover scent, I think. Moist for her. Yeah, it's sunny, I gotta go. Jer Bear, you wanna sit in the front seat? Come on, buddy. You be a front seat driver. It's like a promotion. Ugh. Well, Gray Bear is not gonna hunt this stand. He's gonna hunt somewhere up here underneath a tree. So, he's gonna get out and go, ah, do his thing. Huh. Huh. So we're gonna wish him luck and say, good luck to you, Monsignor. Oh, thanks, baby. I gotta put all my clothes on. Yeah, he's going, he's going over. He's going over there somewhere. My thong out of my foot. So, coming out to a spot that I've been by before. And I'm hoping that that little rub right there is kind of old. But there is a, a scrape.
thought I heard something moving. So I turned. 